is Adam Conrad, and this is my artifact speech. Now, for my artifact, I decided to bring in a ball cap and an apron. Because in my job, I am a sandwich artist. <laughs> Not sexy, so I'm turning the hat backwards. <laughs> okay. In all honesty, I don't really sell subs, though. I sell customer service. Sovix, Quiznos, and the UCF Subway sell subs. <laughs> um, I do make subs, and I do wrap them up and like hand them to people, but I also wash dishes, clean toilets, mop floors, and not kill the rude customers. Um, if you think about it, the sandwich really isn't what I sell. I make Subway like Disneyland. Because you know what? Sandwiches aren't exactly lucrative. I mean, you might pay a lot of money at UCF for a sub, but there's not a whole lot of profit from it. I mean, most of it goes into the labor, goes into the bread, goes into the meat, the cheese. It goes into just into the sandwich. So how do, how do Subways make money? They make money because they come back. You make money on returning customers, not just on Joe Schmo that decided he wanted to sub today. Now, that's the reason I was hired. See, my first job was Cold Stone. And we all know Cold Stone, they sing, they dance. I do that in Subway now too, but that's mostly because I'm bored. Now, I got this job by walking to Cold Stone one day. At this time, I had like made it very vocal that I hate my job. And I was walking past a subway to a cold stone. And the manager was this very large New York born man, bellowed from the line from the sandwich through the plate glass door that he wanted to talk to me. And he's like, Hey, you looking for a job? Yes, I am looking for a job. So I got a job. Now, I was hired because he knows I work at Cold Stone. Cold Stone doesn't pay very well because you get tipped. <laughs> now, to get tips, you have to have very good customer service. I mean, people aren't going to give the boring person who just uses the ice cream any tip money because they're boring. And that's just half the experience. One way that you get really bad customer service and you get people not to come back is by uh, not wearing your hat not only because then you run into things that are low hanging, which I have done on multiple occasions, but also because you get hair in the food, which is very awkward when you have someone coming back and say, sorry, there's a hair right there. Not so good. But we've also had uh, rather short and uh, large upward women <laughs> that kind of bend over to grab something that's far out and then the customers don't like it when the dirty shirt's all touching on the sandwich, because that just makes things even worse. But the significance of my job is really just getting the customers to come back. I have the chicken bacon ranch guy that is a pro basketball player out because he has a knee injury that comes in nearly every day. I think he could paper his walls with the amount of cups that he has now bought. I finally told him that, you know, you can bring it in and just get a refill. <laughs> he was kind of upset about that. Um, we have the Big Philly cheesesteak guy, whose friends always short him on the amount of money they give him to order for everyone. And he still comes back. I mean, his friends short him, he loses money, and he still comes back. And then my favorite, the Veggie Delight personal trainer, who's very pretty, but she kind of looks like she could squash my head. But she always gets the veggie delight with the wheat bread and the bread pulled out and then Swiss cheese. She's very nice, though. In conclusion, I just want to say, you can buy a man a sub and he will eat it. He'll eat for a day. But if you take him to Subway with good customer service, you've got a customer for life.